the Warriors kind of are not the defending champs. They, they won the chip, but they were not perceived as a championship team since uh, KD left. And um, what happened last year pissed a lot of people off that the Warriors started playing good at the very end of the season, looked good in the playoffs, and then won it. And then, like, that ain't – you know, you're a sports fan. You're an NBA fan. You're like, that's not what was supposed to happen. That's some bullshit. Because we saw how teams like Phoenix played all year long. You're like, how could this turn of events happen during the playoffs? In music terms, I could tell you we make a lot of dope songs. But when it's time to mix those songs down and master them and put them on an actual project, all that stuff you was loving in the studio and you was on a roll, it might not fly when you put it out to the public. If you don't put it out properly, if it's not mixed and mastered and the right list of songs aren't presented to the public, it might not fly. You might not win in the playoffs. So I think that uh, the Warriors, since the 2015 season, which I think that the new Warriors that we know now, the new Dynasty Warriors, kind of were developed the season before that, when Mark Jackson was the coach. When he was there, he put that new energy in the building, and Steve Kerr adopted it and, you know, elevated to elevated the team to championship status, not taken away from either one of those coaches. Never, ever, except the, the two, two Kevin Durant seasons, never, ever have we been like, oh, them the Warriors. It's not like that. Steph Curry got all the claim to fame, the Splash Brothers, but you always find a reason to downgrade the team because of the history, you know, like you like 2015, we won that season, man. We, you can go back and I was watching the team get better and better. And I'm not, I'm watching all the sports programs and nobody's even mentioning what's happening. You know what I mean? Like they won the chip and they said, Oh, well, they got lucky. Every team they played had, had, a, had a problem and that's how they won it. But that's the playoffs. That's exactly what it's about. So, I'm not ever worried about the Warriors. Even the season that was like in the midst of this dynasty, the one where Clay didn't come back and it was just, it was a really bad season. I think that was part of the, the process of getting back to another chip. We had some errors that were that were really uh, errors that we cheered for. Run TMC, uh, Baron Davis and those guys, we believe, and in the new era. But there were some times in between that when there was no Tim Hardaway and Chris Mullen. And the Warriors look like a farm camp, you know, like players like Chris, Chris Weber would show up and get traded off. We like, we got to get, a, you know, keep, build a franchise in a season like right now, where it's, you know, you, you only uh, got a, a 500 record or whatever ish. You kind of sit there and you like, you feel good. you like, man, I know my team ain't about to fall off and we got, we got a chance. So it's like, uh, when people hate on the Warriors, I'm like, we don't, us Warrior fans, we don't care. Because we spent a lot of years, a lot of years at the bottom of the division. And now that we like come to your town and your team plays their best game of the season against us, hey, for a fan, man, we like, that's what it's supposed to be, man. That's what that's what free agency and all that stuff is about. It's like not leaving the teams at the bottom down there. So we built our way up. Hopefully other teams throughout the league that are either in transition or just not really good teams. Hopefully some years will go by and your city will enjoy what our city is enjoying because it was not always this.